Hey, what's up guys? I'll be going over the tooling that we'll be using in this series. Uh, to start off, I have GraphQL, which is an in-browser ID for exploring GraphQL. It is actually very similar to what a REST client is for a RESTful API. So I'll show you an example here, uh, which is running on GraphQL Explorer of GitHub's API. I have logged in with my username so I can make queries right on the production data itself. Uh, so you write your query uh, on the left hand side here and you just click on this play button and it will fetch you all the data here. Uh, you also get access to this powerful auto suggest feature. So you can just press control space to see which are all the fields available. So if I want to fetch this septa URL, just press enter and if I click this play button, it will fetch me all the data here. Uh, you also get access to the documentation right here in the client itself. So you can just search for, let's say, user and see all the fields that are available. So we just made a query against the apta URL. So you can see which are all the available fields in the client itself here. Another tool that's uh, very similar to GraphQL is the GraphQL playground from the Prisma guys. Uh, it has a slightly different interface. Uh, so you can choose any other tool and it, you can use it in the browser itself or as a desktop app. So whatever suits you better. Uh, it also comes with this tabs features. So also definitely helps you to organize your queries a bit better, I feel. The next set of tool that we'll be using is Apollo client and the nest, uh, all the ecosystem around it. Uh, you don't necessarily need to use Apollo client to write a React GraphQL application, but it will definitely make it easier and we'll go over the details in the coming videos.